Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fully customize your Samsung Galaxy A36. Let's begin! Currently we are looking at the fresh Samsung A36. Right after Hard Reset, the only thing I've changed about this phone is installing Clash of Clans. Bixby Vision and like the Brave browser and I also added a widget. Other than that, this is a fresh phone and in this video I will be sh for showing you how to fully customize it. Um, there are a few things that you have to do first. The very first one and probably the most important one is to go to settings and to make sure, let me go back to the main settings, that you are logged in into your Samsung account. If you aren't, then unfortunately you won't be able to use Galaxy Theme Store for, you know, downloading and browsing themes and also changing your icons. And there will be a lot of that in this video. And you know what, we can actually start with that. So let's scroll down inside our settings and go to the themes. Um, apparently there is an update for the Galaxy themes, so I will now click quickly update it and we'll be back right after it's done. The update is luckily finished and now we can go back to the themes. It will load and we are welcomed in the themes. Now the very first things we need to do is to switch from the featured to the top view and now switch from all to free. This way we'll only see free themes that we can download without any paying necessary. Now, the themes themselves change everything about the phone. The lock screen, the AOD, the, uh, the icons, the background, everything. So it is a very quick and cheap way of, of changing your, the look of your phone entirely. So if we scroll down, we can see that they are, they are pretty interesting, to say at least. Um, and there is something for everyone here. Uh, though I do see some something that looks AI generated, like I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, let's try to look for something cool. Um, uh, for example, this doggy could be good. Dog running forest. Though I do see that it is also uh, AI generated background. But yeah, let's hit download. Of course, you can just choose whatever you want. And after the downloads, we will be able to apply our changes. So let's wait for a moment and now let's hit apply. Our little theme will get applied and in the moment you will see a very different look. And here it is. As you can see, we have a completely different background with this little dog here. And the icons are also changed. If we go to the icons, we'll see that some of them have a completely custom look, mostly the Samsung ones, and the ones that doesn't have a nice looking frame to them. So everything is kind of coherent, which is pretty good. You can also check out the lock screen. And amazing, the lock screen is animated. Wow. You probably wanted that, right? How crazy. Uh, but unfortunately, the, the running animation isn't very well looped. But yeah, let's just ignore that and let's uh, continue with customizing our phone. Um, so, I don't like this dock. <laughs> I know we've just set it up, but let's say I really don't like it. On the home screen it is acceptable, but let's get rid of it on our lock screen. We can do that by going back into our settings. Uh, let's leave the theme store for now. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, also with a new theme, uh, our dark mode also changed. So it switched from light to dark mode. In the settings, go to wallpaper and style. Now we can go to our lock screen, which is on the left. And here we can change whatever we like. Before we actually change our wallpaper, let's change some other stuff. For example, we can change the shortcuts that we have on our lock screen. You can easily do that by just clicking on them. And we can switch it to no shortcut at all, just like that. And now it will be behave like a little plus. Or we can just switch it to something else from the system. Um, I like to add a flashlight on either side of our lock screen, so 
um, it's accessible, it can be accessed much easier. And on this we can also set some custom application. So if you are addicted gamer, you can also set some game on your lock screen. That's a shortcut if you want to, of course. Then there is the clock. We can click the clock in order to change its appearance. So we can go to style and we can change our style. Currently it is set to something that is not um, customizable. So this style on the left, on the right, can't not be changed with the font and cannot be changed with the color. However, if we go back and change it to the base one, we can go back to font and color. And now we can increase the thinness or the boldness. We can change the font of it. So something like this is pretty cool. And also the color. I will go with something green. And going back to the style, we can of course change the style too, to something funny, like this one. Or for example, this, or this, and all of that. But I will stay with this, since it is pretty cool. You can also choose if you want to show weather information, and if you want to show date above clock. After we've done with our changes, we can just swap it down. And now lastly, for the lock screen, you can add widgets. So now we can, for example, add something from our calendar. And let's say it will be upcoming events, since it is pretty useful. You know, we'll have an, hey, you have a birthday tomorrow. And having that information on your lock screen is really helpful. After we have done with our changes, we can just swipe it, back, swipe it back and hit done. If we go back to our lock screen, we will see that our lock screen is changed. We have a nice Clash of Clans shortcut, we have the ability to open flashlights, and we have a different lock. However, let's get rid of this dog, shall we? We can easily do that by going into change wallpapers, and now we can choose what wallpaper we want to choose. I'm not going to show you how you can, you know, change something from your gallery since it's really easy, you know, you just go to your gallery, you choose your um, your image that you want to choose and then you hit done and that's all, you know. Instead, I will show you something called dynamic lock screen. It's right at the bottom of our wallpapers and let's go into it. Mm, it will basically display every time you open your lock screen, it will display a different video, uh, I'm sorry, a different image. So for example, we can download the art, so it will download the dynamic screen for art, so it will download a bunch of art related assets, and then we can also go with, well, let's say plants, since I am really a plant guy, I like plants. Now uh, our log screen will basically zoom through both art and plants images. So now we can also disable the up to update if we want to and download the using mobile data if we want to. And now if I would go to my lock screen, we can see that it has a very different look each time we open it, which is also pretty cool. And I'd rather have that, if not my dog or something. However, as you can see, we still have a lot of mess on our home screen. So let's press and hold our finger, and now we can modify things on our home screen. The very first one is adding more widgets. So for example, we can add something from our Brave, like the Brave Dino. So you know, we can enable that, we can add it, and we have a nice shortcut for the Dino minigun. We can just click it, and we are immediately transported into the Brave and it should open the Dino game, but I'm pretty disappointed, but you know. You can add a widget from any kind of application you want. Most of applications have some sort of widgets and they have other widgets. For example, Brave has five widgets and each of them is actually a different size, which is also pretty interesting and incredibly helpful. Same things go with camera, Chrome, basically any, any kind of application you might have on your phone should have some kind of widget. And if there are too many widgets, we can just press and hold one of them and just hit remove. So let's remove this one. 
and this one. And these two uh, search bars are pretty stupid, so I will remove the Google one. Or actually the Brave one, since uh, the Google one has a nice shortcut to the Google Lens. Now I can press and hold. Oh, sorry. Press and hold the widget in order to move it around, so I can move it down. So now whenever I will I will take my phone, it's already easily, uh, easily accessed using our thumb. And we can also create more folders. As you can see currently there is a store and a play store. And they both are kind of a store. So we can press and hold our play store here, for example. And kindly and, oh, and put it right next to the store. Which sometimes doesn't work. And when it doesn't, when to press and hold it. Oh, I'm sorry. When to press and hold it. And I believe that we can easily create folders if we just go here. And now we can move. Oh, yeah, we can also move the whole site on the left and right if you want to. So that's also pretty cool. And also, you can change the grid. I'm saying a lot of also around time. Um, but anyway, we can change the grid. Uh, we are ignoring the software updates right now, since we don't need that. We can scroll down to the home screen. And in the home screen, we can, for example, enable widget labels. So they are called. And we can also disable or enable the app names. Of course, if you want to. And then we can change the grid from home screen from 4x6 to 5x6. So let's hit done. And we can do the same for app screen grid. Just like that. So let's hit done. And now a lot more applications can actually fit into our home screen. Lastly, we can also um, modify our always on display if we go back and one and tap it once this is the always on display it has the same dog graphic which is pretty ugly to be honest so let's change it we can do easily do that by going into the settings going into lock screen and iod always on display and here we can customize it for example we can just disable the now bar since it's sometimes distracting from you and we can just disable the always on display too. If we want to change the look of our always on display, we can go back to the settings, to themes, and we can also individually change the AODs only instead of whole theme. So once again, we go with to the top, switch from all to free, and now we can choose something cool. For example, I like this animated thing here which should look pretty cool. So we will now hit download and it should download in a moment. And after the downloads, we'll hit apply just like before. And now only AOD will change. However, we can also choose if we want to ch change the clock and the image or the image only. So let's hit done. And always on display has been applied. So if we go back, we can see that it is changed indeed and has a nice looking um, animation to it. And yeah, I think it's all from this video. If you found it useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.